I'm Nigel Christie. I come from Australia. My friend and I came to Mongolia two and a half years ago in the middle of winter. It was so beautiful in the middle of winter that we wanted to come back in summer. So we started looking on the internet for a travel company and we found nomadic uh, voyages purely by chance on the internet. We contacted them on the internet and within two hours we had a reply. Every time we contacted them with a question about the itinerary or anything else, they were back to us within about two to three hours. They were brilliant in the arranging. We decided that the itinerary they offered seemed to be very close to what we actually wanted to do and we decided to travel. We arrived in Ulaanbaatar, which I cannot pronounce correctly, but I'm hopeful that you'll know it's the capital of Mongolia. We settled in there for two or three days. Then we were flown up to the very, very northern part of Mongolia, which is beautiful. It has the very cold woodland areas. We went and visited reindeer breeders. Yes, amongst all the other animals in Mongolia, they breed reindeers. More commonly, you will see goats, sheep, cattle, yaks, and even camels. Camels are, of course, my favorite. But that's a different story. From the lake in the north, which is the second largest lake, I believe, second largest freshwater lake in Asia, uh, we went back down to the Gobi Desert in the south, and we went up a huge sand, sand dune, which is called Okay, whatever she said, it's called the Congarinas. Um, that was fun. Uh, but surprisingly enough, even at this time of year, the Gobi Desert area we were in had some green tinges to it. Uh, we then started moving north from there through Karakoram, uh, through a dinosaur site from the 1920s, which I think is the basis for uh, the Indiana Jones stories. Uh, but this is the real person who found it. Dinosaur eggs and dinosaur bones, the first ones to be found in Asia. Uh, from there we gradually come further north till we return to the capital of New Battle. And because we came to this valley, which is called Eagle Valley, uh, because it was so beautiful in the snow, we wanted to come back and see it in the springtime or early summer. And it's not quite as beautiful now, but it's still green and it's still beautiful. And the rocky outcrops are wonderful. Okay, in short, would we recommend you traveling to Mongolia? Definitely yes, very much so. The Gur camps, which you can see behind me, I hope, uh, are wonderfully comfortable. There are no problems. The food. Uh, might be not to everyone's taste, but we loved it because it's meat, meat and more meat. Uh, and there are uh, salads as well, so don't worry about healthy eating as well as meat eating. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, not only should you come to Mongolia, if you're thinking about coming to Mongolia, at least contact and think about travelling with nomadic voyagers. I'm sure you will find that they will meet every request you make of them and they'll do it very well. The vehicles they provided for the travelling cross country were wonderful. They were land cruisers, very comfortable. And I'm, I'm being told to wind up now, which is... No. Hi, my name is Graham Brook. I live in Brisbane, Australia. And as my friend Nigel has said, we decided to come back here to Mongolia to enjoy the spring, summer, which has been just wonderful. I have particularly enjoyed the animals, especially the bird life, the falcons and the eagles have been very impressive. And I concur everything that Nigel has said about nomad travel, they have been just fantastic. Look, our guides, our drivers, the vehicles and the countryside are just fantastic and we give every recommendation for anyone to come visit this beautiful country and uh, I am grateful for the opportunity to have been able to come. Thank you.